What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, it's not gonna be nothing crazy. It's actually gonna be kind of like looking back at the year, the past year that we've had this car. Cause today is actually, today is the day that I've had this car for one year. October 2nd, 2020 is when I got it. It is October 20, or October 2nd, 2021. So officially one year now with this car and it feels like, it feels like I've only had it for a few months, but I cannot believe it's already been a year. Um, crazy journey so far, nothing, terribly bad has happened and I'm very grateful for that it's been a great car I absolutely love it and I just really wanted to make this video mostly for me to kind of have like a good memory of like all the like just past stuff in this past year kind of put in like a collage I know like a, a lot of these other youtubers like TJ Hunt and stuff like that put out videos like this obviously I'm not nearly as big as them but like I said I would I would like to keep this memory for me I think it'd be cool maybe if you a few y'all that have been along for the journey who have known me since I had a v6 maybe might enjoy this video I know I'm gonna enjoy making it and just getting everything together. Seeing the crazy journey that we've been on. And at the end of the video, I'm actually gonna go over um, future plans for the car and what we're basically gonna do next to it. it. Like, I'm not gonna spoil too much right now, so stay stick to the end. But definitely some stuff gonna be happening in the few coming months. Hopefully, fingers crossed, as long as everything goes as planned. Um, we're gonna have some, some changes to this thing. And yeah, like I said, be sure to watch to the end of the video to see what it is, and uh, let's get into it. Time to get paid. We were finally done out of the dealership. I still got to do some financing, but we got all the numbers in, got some paperwork signed. I uh, just got to finish up all the final steps. And let me introduce y'all to the new whip because I think y'all are going to love it. I absolutely love it. Something that I bet none of y'all would ever expect, especially not this color. So let's take a look. All right guys, so that's my new uh, 2018 Camaro ZL1. Congratulations, Today we got another video with the ZL1 and for the first time I'm gonna do a reaction type video. Uh, I got a few coworkers that uh, like the car but they're not really car people. Uh, one of the reactions I'm definitely gonna enjoy because he gets scared even in the work truck. So um, we're definitely gonna give him, give him a, a ride, ride of his life, if you will. So um, let's get into it. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. Actually, nine days after I had the car, somebody hit it with uh, shopping carts. It was uh, one of those cart guys at Sam's Club. Messed around and just let them out into the lane, hit the side of the car, like in the worst spot possible. So it's been a while, but it's finally going to get fixed. Man, this is just crazy, man. <laughs> we did it. God. Alright guys, so story of how I was able to get my 2018 ZL1 at 22 years old.
sure I can't. <laughs> I can't. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can somebody look up the torque specs for this so I can ignore it? What size is it? Um. It's a 15, but somebody has boogered your drain plug up before. Nice. So, so you can see where like they put a big sock on and it like just went and you know kind of. Sick. We're gonna do this. We love that. Yeah. We truly love that. Uh, but anyways, back to the show. <laughs> Y'all think Zeb does work? He doesn't. He just I does. Really don't. I just he, hear him. He does this all day. <laughs> Poor customers wait like years for their cars to be built. It's kind of dope. Why is this take ten quarts of water? Just another day in the broke ZL1 YouTube channel. You know. Auto start. Let's see. Set her on the supercharger. Close the close the hood back up and look at that. Melting chocolate chips. She's about to be a banger. See any improvements? Cause I think it that scared the Baja blast. Tight. It's tight. That's good. Yeah. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it. One final, one final start of the, one final start of the ZL1 as we say goodbye to this absolute beauty. Alrighty guys, so hopefully y'all enjoyed the video and I don't know, maybe just got to reminisce on all the all the great times, all the decent times, all the bad times that we've had with this car so far. Um, like I said, it has been a year and hopefully many more to come because uh, I absolutely love this car. Like I said, it's been my dream car for, for years, finally was able to get it and it just feels surreal. You know, it's been a year now, a lot of people said that I couldn't get it, thought I couldn't get it and uh, you know, one year later and we're still chugging along. It's not a rental like a lot of people thought. So I guess let's dive into some future topics, shall we? Um, obviously this thing has been relatively stock. It's got an exhaust. It's got the intake and that's about it Performance wise at least it's got the it's got the tail lights the side markers and the rear brake light Other than that it's basically just stock ZL1. It's got the wrap obviously so it makes it it makes it look nice at least um, But I've really been wanting to do some, some things to it. I'm not gonna lie I've been really itching to get a little bit more power nothing crazy like I don't want to have no like thousand horsepower um, a ZL1 because like I just, I just really enjoy like driving it at least my daily so like I put I put almost 17,000 miles on it in a year and I haven't really been driving that much these past two months but really I just want like a, a little bit more more power because right now it's about 
I haven't dynoed it yet, but I would say it's around like 560 to 580 wheel ish on a 10 speed. It's not it's not terribly bad, but uh, I don't know. I feel like a little bit more would definitely be like kind of exciting and just rejuvenate that like feeling of a ZL1, which is I mean it's great right now, but like. I'm thinking just add like a little bit more. So what I'm really considering, what is most likely going to happen, maybe within a few months, hopefully, fingers crossed, like I said, um, I would really like to do headers to this car. Just do straight headers and uh, maybe a smaller pulley, smaller lower pulley. And I think with that, I think that's a good start um, just to get a taste of what it might do. I might want to do more like as soon as I'm done with it or uh, I might be okay with it for a while. I don't really know yet. But I know a lot of y'all have been wanting me to mod this ZL1. I've been wanting to mod it. So I think I'm going to give everybody what they want to see. And me personally, like I said, I do want, I've wanted headers on this thing for so long because it sounds so good with headers and exhaust and match with that intake. Like, it's going to sound great. Smaller pulley to add a little bit more, uh, a little bit more boost, get a little bit more power. You know, something just to kind of like alleviate that like dead zone in the, in the ZL1. Other than that, it's going to get tuned, obviously. I think the headers and the smaller pulley uh, would be a good like start. I would do E85 now, but we only have one E85 station where I live at, and the closest one besides this, I have honestly no idea where it's at. Uh, I haven't seen any anyone, probably like two hours away, honestly, it's probably the closest one. So I would love to do flex fuel, but as of right now, it's just not beneficial for me until they have more gas stations. But that will definitely be a future mod. I don't want to meth inject it or nothing. Uh, I do want to upgrade the cooling system as well, um, just because it, it seems to like heat soak so bad so easily. That's one thing that I might also do along with the with the headers and the smaller pulley is somehow upgrade the cooling system. Like, I don't know, maybe get better radiators or something. I'm going to look into that as well. So, yeah, let me know if y'all if would do the same thing or maybe something that I might not be thinking of. Might be a better idea. Y'all let me know in the comments if you got a ZL1. Tell me what you have done. Like, let me find out because, like, I'm still kind of new to this modding ZL1 thing, you know? So, yeah. That's about it for the video. Like I said, I hope y'all all enjoyed the video of like the kind of like homage of the last year of me owning the ZL1. And I appreciate everybody, everybody who's been with me through this whole journey, even from like the very beginning with the V6, going to the SS and now the ZL1. A lot of people supporting me and stuff like that. I do appreciate every single one of y'all. Anybody who ever supported the ZL1, like um, ever since I got it, you know, like a lot of y'all showed mad love and I do appreciate all of y'all for that. And hopefully y'all stay for a lot longer because this thing hopefully will be transformed into something a lot crazier than it was whenever I picked it up last year on this day. Other than that, I think that's going to be it for me and the car. If y'all enjoyed the video, be sure to leave it a like. Be sure to comment, like I said. Be sure to subscribe. RS, See you the next one. SS22, ZL1, slide and a rainbow coupe. Saw your bitch, mouth drop, what it do? Worry about yourself, bitch, who the fuck is you? Take